Hey everybody, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. Surprise! It's a bonus. This is a bonus for Taurus and Pisces, <laughs> killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> it is a, um, I just feel the need to read, right? And um, is it for Taurus? Maybe. Is it for Pisces? Maybe. Could it be for anybody else? Possibly. It, it really could, possibly. But because I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising and Pisces Venus, um, I figured that because that's what's swirling around inside of me, it is Pisces season, um, I am just going to do a combo between Taurus and Pisces, right? Because I think that there's just some kind of something here, right? Anyway, I feel the need to read, and this is a bonus for both Taurus and Pisces. Will there be an extended to this? Maybe. I don't know. Let's work through it and see what this is about. But uh, it's an interesting read. So the overall stretching dynamic of this spread is that you have a very, very important decision that you're working through and this spread works through that decision with you. Um, like I said, I did, well, I don't know if I said it or not, but will there be an extended? I'm not really sure. There may be an extended. We'll see as we work through this what it is that we need to um, look at some more, okay? Now, don't feel ripped off because it's a Pisces-Taurus kind of combo thing, okay? Don't, don't feel that way. If this resonates with you, then it resonates with you, even if you're not a Pisces or a Taurus. If this reading resonates, it's for you, okay? If it doesn't resonate, swipe left and just keep on going, right? If I don't resonate with you, go on and go someplace else, right? Word, this is an R-rated channel. I may swear, I may not, but I probably will. So if that offends you, um, this is a good time to just go on someplace else as well. All right, so let's see what we have going on here. Let's see what we have going on, all right? So I'm, gonna, I'm going to pause for just a second. I'm going to turn on this camera so you guys can view the cards. I've already laid them out. I've already kind of worked my way through this a little bit. So it's just going to be just a quick, just going to read through it, okay? All right, so hold on just a second. Okay, all right, so let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's see what's going on here. So we open up this spread with the Ten of Wands in reverse right here. This is taking on too much. It's overwhelming energy, right? It's a fire energy, being is how it's wands. So it's overwhelming in some kind of inspirational aspect, okay? Um, there's something that you want, but the concept of it is overwhelming. To the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This Nine of Pentacles in reverse is about an overinvestment. Um, it's also about financial setbacks, but it's it's in this spread, it's about an overinvestment. Um, to the Hangman in reverse, this is about resistance, stalling, and indecision. To the Queen of Cups in reverse because of emotional insecurity. So it's interesting to me that we have, um, what's next here? Justice, okay. Um, it's interesting to me that we have fire energy, earth energy, and water energy on the table. Okay, I got those two clarifying cards. Um, what does that mean? Well, it means that this is something, some kind of inspiration um, that affects your sense of security. And you are emotionally insecure about whatever decision-making process this is for you right here. Now, these four cards were just, the Hangman, the card of Pisces, okay? These four cards were just clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups. What does this mean? It means that you have the desire to create something or there's been an incoming message about creating something. But there's a desire to create something here. But the Knight of Pentacles in reverse says that you're really stuck Stuck, stuck, stuck. In your emotions, you want to create, but in your sense of security, you are afraid to step out of the box to create this. Does that make sense? Okay. All of these lead up to justice in reverse. Some kind of, 
dishonesty, unfairness. I think it's unfairness. I don't think it's a lack of accountability, and I don't think it's dishonesty. I think it's a sense of unfairness. Either this decision-making process is unfair to you, or your decision-making decision -making processes you feel are going to be unfair to somebody else or something else, okay? General, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's general. Um... Uh, my daughter just texted me. It's general, right? But there is some kind of unfairness that you feel here. What is this unfairness about? Well, justice is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Been in your head for a good long minute trying to figure out what kind of action needs to be taken to change your mental situation, your perspective about this situation. The Six of Swords in reverse. Ah. Oh. Ah, I didn't have my microphone on. Damn, I hope y'all can hear that. If not, I can edit the audio out of that. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so the Six of Swords in reverse is about a lot of baggage. Um, it can't move on. A lot of baggage, hence the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, right? Stuck in your realm of security. Six of Swords says that in the mental, Eight of Swords, in the mental, you are stuck stuck trying to think your way through this situation, um, trying to figure out what kind of change needs to happen in order for you to come to a resolution about this decision-making process. But there's baggage and, and, and you can't seem to move forward in the Eight of Swords energy, thinking, 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 thinking about how it is that you can change your discomfort in your mental. The hangman in reverse again. We have it right there and right there. This is a double whammy. Pisces, the card of Pisces, right? But it's it's a double whammy. This is just totally and completely reiterating that there is indecision, indecision, resistance to, to make this decision to the six of wands. This decision is about some kind of victory, progress, and success in your life that you are struggling with creating, okay? There's something that you see as being victorious ultimately, but the decision-making process is excruciating. We have the tower. I think this tower is an awakening, okay? I don't think it's upheaval. I don't think it's chaos. I, it is sudden change though, but it's, I, it's sudden change in the way that you think and feel about things. So you're processing, processing, trying to make this decision, right? Ace of Cups, what is this decision about? Well, the Ace of Cups in reverse, repressed emotions, right? Which we know from the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Emotional insecurity. So repressed emotions. So the awakening with the tower, the revelation, the epiphany clears up the repressed emotions. To the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is chaos. This is mental mental chaos, right? It's, it's the inability to make a decision. It is the hangman in reverse, right? The resistance, the stalling, the indecision. That's what this Knight of Swords represents. And your awakening with the Tower moment clears this up. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. See, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse tells me that this whole decision-making process has to do with your standing in probably a family situation. Um, see, the Queen of Pentacles, she's the mama, right? She's the mama bear. I should be putting this over here. She is the mama bear. She handles shit, right? She handles shit. She is the go-to for her group of people. Um, when you want something done, you go to the Queen of Pentacles. When you want advice, you go to the Queen of Pentacles. When you need um, counseling, you go to the Queen of Pentacles, right? She's got it all under control and she holds a very significant relationship with everybody in her life, a very personal, intimate relationship with every person that comes across her path. When she's in the reverse, this tells me that part of the worry about your decision-making process is that you won't be her anymore. You will have to you will have to resign from the position of the Queen of Pentacles upright. Okay, um, Earth energy, of course, Taurus. Um, so what this is telling me 
is that this decision that you have to make somehow separates you from the people who depend on you. That's what this tells me. But lo and behold, we have the chariot upright. This chariot card is about, it's not just about movement and action, right? Maybe physically moving, maybe physically moving. But this chariot is the vehicle that will take you into a new beginning, a change for the good, and quite frankly, your spiritual path. So the awakening of the tower moment helps you go through the three primary things that are happening in all of these cards before this. Repressed emotions, check emotions. The mental chaos, check the mental. And the sense of security, check security. The chariot, so this awakening, um, is the defining moment where you decide that you are going to do this. You are going to do this and you are going to move forward in this situation. It's a major arcana. This is reiterating that this is the right direction for you to go. This is blessed for you to go in this direction. Uh, in uh, Justice in Reverse was our first, first major arcana. This is Spirit saying that we understand your sense of responsibility in this, right? And we understand that, that by making this decision that you feel that it's unjust to everybody else around you. Then we have the tower, second major arcana. This is spirit saying, you must realize the importance of this decision. You must realize it. And if you can't pull an awakening, an epiphany, a revelation out of this situation, then we are going to orchestrate the situation so you have no choice but to see the direction that we are trying to lead you in. Ace of Cups. Release the repressed emotions. The Knight of Swords. Release the mental chaos. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Everybody's going to be okay without you. To the Chariot. Major Arcana saying go. Go. Do. Be. Implement. Execute. Okay? All right, down here we have the Five of Swords. This is conflict, loss, betrayal, defeat. And I think it talks about loss um, to the devil, okay? This devil represents your self-disparaging thoughts. This devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. What is the attachment? The attachment that is the restriction to your personal growth is your fear in this situation. So loss with the five of swords, that's what's, that's what's holding you back from executing whatever this decision is for you, right? This is a general reading. If you want wisdom, guidance, understanding, clarification about anything that you see here, you must get your cards read. If, if I do it for you, then by all means, hop on my website and make an appointment, Deep Thoughts with Dana, and we will explore this specifically for you, okay? If I don't float your boat, by all means, choose anybody else, somebody that you trust and connect with to read your cards. This is a general reading. Nobody's journey is the same, okay? All right, so Five of Swords to the Devil, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. This tells me that you feel Number one, it tells me as the King of Pentacles, this is the card of Taurus, right? Um, in the major, in the minor arcana. So the King of Pentacles, you, the, this decision-making process is about your long-term ambitions. It's about your personal success. It's about, it's about pursuing um, your ambitions in, in some kind of situation. However, there is a significant relationship or a partnership in your life with the Two of Cups that you feel that you are betraying with the Seven of Swords if you were to pursue 
um, your rightful place in the throne of the King of Pentacles, right? So that's, it just reiterates everything that we just talked about. Temperance in the center of your reading, talking about being tempered, balance, patience, purpose, moderation. You are checking all of these boxes, right? Um, I better not make any kind of rash decisions because this is huge. This is important, super important. Major arcana right here. Spirit telling you, just be, 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 be tempered. There's no rush. There's no rush. Um, just let's work through this. Let's just make sure that you have the purpose of this decision-making process clear. Let's make sure that everything is balanced in your emotions, in your sense of security, and in your mental, in your inspirations. Let's make sure everything is balanced. Nothing is off kilter and you're not being impulsive. Let's make sure that we are moving forward in moderation, right? Um, don't go all in. Don't go all in. Go little pieces at a time. Little pieces at a time. To the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. So the Queen of Swords in reverse on top of Temperance is telling me that you, Taurus, Pisces, or whatever your sign is while you're watching this, like I said, this could resonate with anybody. It doesn't have to be Taurus or Pisces, but I'm putting that label on it because I have a need to express this, and I don't know who it's for, so... There you go. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse. This tells me that you are... Let me clarify this real quick. Let me just clarify this Queen of Swords in reverse. So she is um, angry, but it's not about being angry. Queen of Swords in reverse is about... Um, withdrawal of emotions. It's about uh, being bitchy. It's about, uh, let me just see, what is this about? Okay, okay, okay. So employing the temperance energy in this situation is going to relieve you of the queen of swords in reverse. It's going to relieve you of not being clear about things because it's clarified by the Ace of Swords, which tells me that you come to some kind of mental breakthrough, some kind of massive clarity in the situation, hence the tower moment right there, right? The tower moment. The root of the issue is that if you pursue your ambitions, you feel like you're betraying um, um, relationship or relationships in your life. Okay. Temperance in the center of your reading. Calm, cool, collected, right? Just, 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 just be chill about the whole thing. Weigh it out factually, inspirationally, the sense of security, emotionally. Weigh it all out, right? You will be relieved of the, of the inability to make a decision with the Queen of Swords in reverse. You will be put into the Three of Swords in reverse. This is, um, this is, um, acceptance and having optimism for the future to the Ten of Swords because something has to end in order for you to begin this endeavor in your life. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Whatever this decision is of yours, um, it's something that you want very, very much. It's something that is very emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, it brings in satisfaction and happiness. The chariot, right? You're going to do this. You, you, you're doing this. You had the, the epiphany in the tower moment and the chariot up here, right? You are going to do this, but you have details to work through first. The Knight of Cups, right? This is being in touch with your intuition, being in touch with your emotions, prepared to share. Perhaps you're sitting down with the people that are involved here. Oh, God, where am I? Perhaps you are sitting down with the people involved here, the people that that are that you feel like you will betray if you do this, and sharing your feelings. 
to in either either way either way you've come to the conclusion that you are absolutely comfortable with what's happening here the two of swords in reverse the chaos right the the lack of clarity to the four of cups after much contemplation and reevaluation um well not after but 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 you've given the indecisive energy a lot of thought right a lot of thought to the seven of wands um this is a challenge right this is a challenge so so you're 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 at a crossroads between your happiness and your obligation to someone or something else right right tell me a little bit yep look the fool i kid you not the fool new beginning and a new journey so what this is saying is that again reiterating you are absolutely going to do this you just have some details to work through first the six of pentacles giving and receiving and sharing and that goes right back to being responsible as the king of pentacles and being the go-to as the queen of pentacles right this is about giving receiving taking care of your people taking care of the situations around you being the go-to to the five of pentacles have to leave that all out in the cold though if you want to execute this passion that you have inside of you you have to leave your sense of obligation to those around you out in the cold you do you have to leave it out in the cold to the ten of pentacles in reverse this represents a loss in the structure and foundation of your life in the realm of security so what this is saying to me is that you are going to Oh, there it is. I got it. Yay, I got it. What this is saying to me is that to launch off into this new direction that you want to go, you have to leave everybody behind. You have to leave everybody behind. And it is... Um, it is extremely frightening in the realm of your sense of security because as a Taurus you're going to get your sense of security out of everybody else being secure as a Pisces your sense of security is taking care of everybody else right right um, and whoever's watching this that isn't Taurus or Pisces this is this is representing that your general sense of security in the realm of of everything that you know right now um you have to give up you have to give up you have to give it up hence the devil an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth your sense of responsibility for everybody around you is restricting your personal growth I'm going to say that one more time. I'm going to say that again to myself. I'm going to say that again to you guys. This is extremely important to understand whatever this decision is of yours. Your responsibility of taking care of everybody around you is a restriction to your personal growth. Come down here to the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is... um. Moving on, walking away, moving on and walking away. And this is how you see this decision having to be, right? It's almost like a black and white kind of thing for you going on here. You're, it's either like, I have to walk away to pursue this or I don't and I don't, right? So the Eight of Cups in reverse represents walking away, but it's, it's not without a sense of disappointment. There's no anger at all in this card there is no anger right it's just like i gotta do what i gotta do i gotta do what i gotta do and unfortunately i gotta i gotta leave now i gotta go i have to i have to do what i have to do to the page of swords in reverse all talk no action undelivered promises um i don't think well all talk no action right you've been thinking about this for a long time this is not something that this is massive this is a massive transformation of your life right here and <clears throat> a massive transformation of your life 
um, doesn't just happen overnight usually doesn't just happen overnight see this is by choice this is not an an upheaval chaotic tower moment where boom shit happens and you just kind of scramble to deal with it this is a self-imposed self executed decision making process that you're going through right here so the all talk no action tells me that you've been thinking about it hence the swords and the mental you've been thinking about this for a minute but you haven't pulled the trigger because of your overwhelming sense of responsibility undelivered promises tells me that you again feel like you are dipping out on the people who depend on you seven of cups options choices decisions wishful thinking um and i think it's all of the above right fantasy illusion choices options decisions i think it's all is it fantasy and illusion that everybody's going to be okay without me i mean good grief i run the show around here is everybody going to be okay without me you know what you guys sometimes sometimes leaving people to their own devices um, is actually the best thing that you can possibly do for somebody and that's the truth that's the truth they're probably going to screw up they're probably going to stumble without you but they will be stronger because you have forced them to deal with themselves um options choices decisions right to the king of wands in reverse this is hasty impulsive self-centered right and this is you saying you know i don't want to i i, I want this so bad but i don't want to make an impulsive and self-centered de decision that is going to cripple everybody else well you know what you guys um they're not going to be crippled they're not they're not going to be crippled they will make it without you I promise you and I'm preaching straight to the choir right I am talking right back to myself to the Sun in reverse this feeling of not wanting to be selfish not wanting to um, want not wanting your will and desires to impose on somebody else um, it, it, it weighs you down it does it, it weighs you down the Queen of Wands in reverse talks about the exact same energy as this King of Wands in reverse right here. This Queen of Wands in reverse is insecure and she's selfish and she's demanding. And this is you guys saying, this is you guys saying, I don't want to be this Queen of Wands in reverse. Right now, I kind of feel like this Queen of Wands in reverse. I am struggling. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be self-centered. But whatever this is, I want this so bad. I want this so bad, but I don't want to be, I don't want to inflict harm um, on anybody else, emotional, you know, I don't mean like punching somebody, right? I don't want to make anybody's life more difficult than it has to be by me following my passions and my desires. To the Four of Swords in reverse, this you know you're coming to the conclusion right here this is creating a lack of progress wallering in this energy um just just it's a, it brings you to to a standstill right it's like it's like standing in jello right you want to move forward but you can go <laughs> you know to move forward and get yourself out of this to the page of wands in reverse page of wands upright is about exploration discovery excitement enthusiasm and um that 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 jello that you're stuck in is sucking that right out of you the four of wands structure foundation stability harmony in your life in your relationships spiritual path to the ace of cups emotional fulfillment you want this so bad you do you want and i know i've said that over and over again but that's what keeps coming up in this reading it's the epic struggle between do i do what's right for me or do i do what's right for everybody else it's the epic struggle right me them my happiness their happiness my contentment their contentment my passions their passions and as a taurus and a pisces i can attest that the primary focus of my internal workings are to make sure that my people are good 
that my people are solid, they're good, they're taken care of, they have the direction, the wisdom, the guidance, everything that they need to succeed in life. And sometimes I make myself a little bit more important than what I really am in my own ego, in my own mind, right? Everybody's going to be fine. Everybody's going to be fine. You want this with the Four of Wands. This is going to create something inside your life that um, is going to be extremely emotionally fulfilling with the Ace of Cups, extremely emotionally fulfilling. The Tower. Now, this is the second tower, okay? So up here, you have the revelation and the awakening with this tower up here, right? Um, but you're still struggling. You know that you're going to do this, but actually getting on the horse and going um, is, the, is a struggle for you. Well, this tower moment, <laughs> this tower moment um, is a little bit more of a nudge than the first tower moment was. The first tower moment was peeling things back so you could see everything that I just talked about. The second tower moment is a little bit stronger than that. The second tower moment is, well, let's just clarify, because it goes into the Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, which says, despite your fear of the unknown, Six of Pentacles, everybody's going to be okay. What is this tower right here? What is this tower in this in this spread for whoever it is that I'm talking to? What is this tower right here in this spread? What is this tower? The two of pentacles in reverse. This is disorganization or financial disarray. Perhaps this tower moment is saying that if you don't move, figuratively or literally, um, that there will be some financial disarray that happens in your life that actually pushes you to move. This is also about disorganization in the sense of security. What is this? Tell me about this tower. Oops. What is all this going on? Ah. So the Three of Swords to the Nine of Cups. Okay. So the Tower, disorganization, financial disarray to the Three of Swords, some pain, some kind of pain because we're humans. Every living thing on this planet is motivated by pain. Everything from the little teeniest gnat, the little teeniest gnat, if they're cold, they're going to gravitate to a warmer spot of your house, right? Um, your dog, if they're uncomfortable, they're going to get up and move, right? God, don't even talk about your cat, right? Their life is, their life is, is, is based on comfort and happiness. You as a human being, we won't do anything if we're already comfortable, right? Why? Why would we? Why would we work for more money if we have enough money? Why would we turn the heat up if we're not cold? Why would we break up with somebody if it's not comfortable, right? We're motivated by comfort. So what this is saying right here is that this tower moment, if you don't heed this first tower moment, this second tower moment is going to make life a little bit uncomfortable for you in order for you to understand the nine of cups is waiting. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. This is a spiritual journey. You are being led, you are being called to do something because spirit needs you to be someplace, to do something. And you might not ever even know. You might not ever even know. It might be some person behind the counter at 7-Eleven when you run in to buy a pack of smokes, right? Or, or a thing of carrots if you're that kind of person, right? Um, um, a little snack thing, you know, at the ranch. <laughs> um, 
it might be as simple as that somebody behind the counter and you exchange some kind of something and you're like I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick I know we're at 34 minutes but y'all know me if you're new to this channel welcome subscribe right join the tribe subscribe ring the little dingy bell so you know when I put stuff like this out this is a story true story okay I was looking for a clicker battery for my remote start for my car right uh, this is in Houston Texas forever ago forever ago um, and, um, so I go into light bulbs and more, right? Batteries, light bulbs. I don't know what it was, but it was a specialty store for light bulbs and batteries. And I go in <coughs> and the lady behind the counter had the most adorable haircut. It was so cute. And it framed her little face and she looked great, right? She was about the same age as me at the time. And, um, so I'm getting my battery and, um, I told her, I'm like, I just love your haircut. It's adorable. And she just broke down in a massive emotional breakdown, crying, snotting, couldn't even do my checkout, right? I mean, she just lost it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I, you know, maybe it's not her hair. Maybe it's a wig. I don't know, right? What did I say? Well, she pulls herself together. It's just her and I in the store. She pulls herself together and she tells me, and I always get a little choked up when I tell this story, but she tells me, she says, um, husband just lost her, lost his job. This is her second day at this job and she needed a haircut and they can't afford a haircut. So, um, she cut her own hair with a pair of kid scissors, no less, right? So she cut her own hair with a pair of kid scissors in the bathroom mirror last night and she was just so absolutely distraught that um that she had a, a fucked up haircut i mean everybody knows what a fucked up haircut will do for your self-esteem right <laughs> so she was just absolutely distraught she felt like she looked horrible she um was starting the first day at a job that i'm sure at the time paid 10 bucks an hour because her husband lost the job right and by me complimenting her on her hair changed her entire freaking outlook on life it did and we stood there and talked for 30 minutes about about her life and about the haircut and about how much my comment about her haircut changed her perspective about her life and i had a minute to um exchange with her right and i really didn't say anything important as much as i listened so that's what i'm saying right spirit needs you to be wherever this is bringing you to in order to do at least a portion of the leg of this journey that you are called to do in this lifetime whatever it is you may not ever even know you may not ever even know whose life you affect, but you can't be stagnant. You have to move into this energy and spirit all over this spread is saying that everybody's going to be fine without you. They're going to be fine without you. Okay. I know that's hard to hear, but it's true. It's true. All right. So back to it. Okay. Nine of cups is what's waiting for you. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, to, oh, wait, we have a couple more. To the Two of Wands in reverse. Despite your fear of the unknown, to the Six of Pentacles, everybody is going to be just fine. Okay. The Emperor. This is you taking charge of your life. This is you being the decision maker and initiator. It is you taking your power, sitting on your throne, looking over your kingdom and saying, you know what? Not only is this in my best interest, but it's in the best interest of everybody concerned. And that's the truth. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, in reverse. now you may not be, you may not be that go-to person anymore, but you are graduating from the go-to person that that you know sews sews the rip in the seam and and uh venmo's you know money i just had my daughter remember she texted me a minute ago she was like mom can you venmo me 10 bucks i forgot my debit card i can do that from someplace else i don't have to be here to do that right and neither do you so what you're doing is you are understanding you are converting your way of being from the queen of pentacles into the emperor right taking charge 
of the situation. Look what's on the bottom of that deck right there, right? The Ace of Wands, the manifestation of a passionate new beginning in your life. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This talks about short-term focus, right? So your short-term focus is being the Queen of Pentacles for everybody. That's what you do all day, every day. That's what you do. That's what you do. It's what you do, right? But now you're moving into the energy of the Emperor. The Emperor who is going to take control of the situation to the Two of Pentacles. And you are prioritizing your business, okay? You are pri prioritizing your your business. The Ace of Cups in reverse. This is repressed emotions. You're dealing with it. You are dealing with the repressed emotions about doing what's right for you versus what's right for everybody else, right? Anything you want to say about this Ace of Cups? Anything else you want to say about this Ace of Cups? Anything else? Yeah at the crossroads, right? This is also about emotional repression, dealing with your repressed emotions, right? Which brings us over here to the alchemist in reverse. This alchemist in reverse is about untapped talents. This is major arcana, and this is spirit saying, you got talents, babe, sis, bro. You got talents that need to be tapped into that will remain latent if you remain latent. Okay. <clears throat> Nine of wands. This is courage. This is courage to overcome obstacles. What's your obstacle? The devil, the attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. What is the attachment? The attachment is that, that nobody can live without you, which isn't true. Strength in reverse, pulling on some serious inner strength to the hermit, pulling on serious inner strength, doing some soul searching and some introspection. Because remember, this tower back here gave you a little bit of a kick in the ass, a little bit of a kick in the ass. And now you're, you're getting serious about this whole thing, right? Doing some soul searching and some introspection with the hermit card to the Prince of Wands about taking inspired action, whatever this is for you. To the King of Swords. Not only making a decision, but executing the decision using logic, reasoning, and intellect to sort through the mental, the mental, the disabilitating mental that you've been in in this whole reading. The King of Swords is coming out of that. King of Swords is, is not only a decision maker, but a decision executor, right? Damn it. To the Eight of Swords, um, bringing you out of this, this King of Swords, see the Eight, remember the Eight of Swords back here, where we, I think it was the Eight of Swords to the Queen of Swords, um, in, in reverse maybe, I forget. But now you have figured out what kind of change, what kind of movement, what kind of action needs to be taken to cure the mental restrictions that have been happening here. That King of Swords brought you out of that Eight of Swords energy, and now you are crystal clear about how you are going to move forward. It brought you out of the feelings of deception and betrayal with the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, this King of Swords is, is allowing you to move on from feelings of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. To the Prince of Swords, this King of Swords is spurring you to take action to implement this into your life. Prince of Cups, again, this is you being in touch with your emotions and in touch with your intuition and prepared to very calmly, collectly, calm, cool, collected, go forward um, into this new journey, right? You are now at a place of emotional stability and you understand that this is your calling. High Priestess in reverse, after a good long time of being disconnected with your intuition, the card of Pisces, a good long time of being disconnected with your intuition, right? Not being able to feel yourself through because your intuition was um, in competition with your mental, 
right? We got swords all over this reading and cups all over this reading and fire energy all over this reading in addition to the pentacles, which is security, right? Earth energy. But you have been, you, you become, one becomes disconnected from their intuition when they let their mind override what they know in their chest. Okay. I do this all day, all day, every day is what I do. I do. I do tarot card. I'm a professional tarot card reader. I do this all day, every day. And when people come to me with a decision-making process, most of the time, this high priestess is in reverse because they are disconnected from their intuition because they're too caught up in their mind to listen to what spirit is trying to talk to them about in their intuition. Nine of swords in reverse. You have been in a state of despair, right? Now you are emotionally in control. Two of wands in reverse. Despite your fear of the unknown, to the four of pentacles, despite your insecurity, to the chariot in reverse, despite the opposition that all of this is causing to the two of swords in reverse, despite your inability to make a firm decision, boom, you're having a personal transformation with the death card. This death in reverse is also about a fear of change, right? And I think that's the root of everything here is a fear of change. But this fear of change um, as you come to terms with it, each one of these cards is an emotional, physical, or mental process. And as you come to terms with it, it creates a personal transformation to the eight of wands. This is you possibly communicating your decision-making process to the collective of people in your life. This is definitely an energetic shift. Um, movement, action, change, possibly actual movement. I mean, we have the chariot three times in this reading, um, and that's movement for sure. Eight of wands, energetic shift, a change in the way, very quick change too. To the moon in reverse, this is releasing the fear, releasing the repressed emotions. To the star, hope, faith, purpose. This is your purpose. Guys, this is your purpose. You are being called to do this. Whether it is a move across town, a move from a job, um, a move, uh, you know, moving out of the house that your kids live in, moving um, from a relationship, one relationship, moving out of a relationship. It could be anything at all. For you this is general right i don't know i don't know but it is your purpose with the star card it is absolutely positively your calling and your purpose to do this to the sun and that's what you have to look forward to that's what's on the table two of the most powerful major arcana in the deck the star card of aquarius and the sun card of leo um hope faith, purpose, renewal, and your spiritual path is the star. Happiness, success, and vitality is the sun. And this is, this is, this is your reading right here. This is your reading. Will we do an extended? Maybe. What should we do an extended about? What should we do an extended about? We should read about, well, let's just uh, read about this journey, right? Let's just read about this journey. Look, temperance in reverse, self-healing, right? Self-healing to the fool, huh? Brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Let's talk about this journey. Let's talk about what is ahead for you um, in this journey, okay? Let's talk about this. So there will be a link to the extended reading in the box below. $2.50 will bring you on over to the dark side with me. $2.50 will bring you over to the other side. It is um, a 72-hour rental. Uh, just saying, I've had some people email me and say, it's only 72 hours, but it's 30 days until you begin to watch it, and then you have 72 hours to finish it. Um, it's just the way that it is. It's how Gumroad does. I don't have any control over it, and I can't change it. So, $2.50. I will meet you on the other side and we will just dis discover and explore what this journey is for you. Okay, Pisces? Namaste.
Pisces, Taurus, everybody else, okay? Pisces, Taurus, everybody else. Namaste.